In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom Wii channels for your games on your Wii menu. We'll be creating a forwarder for each of them so that you don't have to go into your USB loader GX. You don't have to go into your homebrew channel. You can go straight to the game. So starting off, the first link in the description is for the WAD manager. It's going to bring you to this Google Code Archive page. And we're going to click on YAWMM. I believe it stands for yet another WAD multi-manager. So just click on that to download it. And then go to the second link in the description. It'll take you to this page for crap v3.3b. So just click download in the top left. And it should It'll just close that. You don't have to sign up. So now we have both of our files. Let's go into our downloads folder. Just double click on the WAD manager. Now you can use other WAD managers, but this is the one that I that I use and it works great. So you're gonna go to this, open the file there, the folder and just drag your app, that apps folder straight onto your USB drive. And if you're coming from other videos, you'll have all of this already, but if you wanna know how to homebrew your Wii, add Wii games, GameCube games, emulators, go check out the playlist in the description and it'll have all that stuff there. So go into your apps and you'll see that WAD manager is now there. It should have these three files. And now we're gonna use crap to make the WADs. Now that my USB drive, has these games on it uh, you'll need that plugged in that has your WBFS folder on it with the games let's open the crap v3 and let's just drag this onto the desktop exit out of there open it up and it should have all this stuff double click on crap.exe and it should run just click OK OK okay it'll open up so first thing we need to do is to open the WBFS drive mine is USB drive E so select drive that is in select the game and click use for channel creation now we need to select a loader so we're gonna choose USB loader GX forwarder if you haven't created a USB loader channel I'd suggest doing that first because that's what we're using to start up the game from the, the, the Wii channel. So I'll link a video in the description and at the top right of the screen, I think. Uh, so click on that and go get a USB Loader GX channel first before you do that. But essentially, that's all you do. Select USB Loader GX Forwarder and create the channel. Once you get this, that means it's success. Just press OK. You'll find the WAD in the WAD folder. So there it is, and that's all you need. Uh, but for the sake of the video, I'm sure you guys are gonna want more than one channel. I'll, I'll create a couple. So let's do Mario Party 8, use for channel creation. USB loader GX forwarder, create channel. Oops, wrong one. And there it is. So you can see it's pretty easy. So you can do all of yours. I'll just quickly do Wii Party forwarder, create channel. And now it's in there. So that's all the games I'm gonna do. Exit out of there. And now you need, to, you need to put them onto your USB drive. So open up your USB drive and you need a WAD folder. But if you just copy the WAD folder from the crap and paste it onto your USB drive, it should be set. They should all be in there and ready to go. So that's everything you need to do on the computer. So you can eject your USB drive pull it out of your computer and I'll meet you on the Wii. Now that we're on the Wii, we're gonna go to the homebrew channel. And once you're in the homebrew channel, find the WAD manager and open it up, click load. Now this is very important, only the original Wii remotes work on this WAD manager for some reason. I believe most WAD managers are like this, but I tried to use my limited edition Luigi one, Bowser one, Toad one, nothing worked. So I had to go out and buy an original Wii controller for this to work. Not a third party one either, original. But they're pretty cheap on Facebook Marketplace, so you can find one, or eBay. And another warning is that installing WADs onto your Wii is more risky than adding USB loader or emulator apps. So I would suggest to back up your NAND if you haven't done so. If you don't know how, I'll link a video in the description and you can check out how. Going forward, 
we're in the wad manager so you use the d-pad and the a button just click a on ios 249 just click a again on disable and now we're doing our source device if you have these wads on an sd card you're gonna choose we sd slot but mine is uh, on a usb drive so i'm gonna do usb 2.0 mass storage device and click a and here's all the wads so what to do to install them just click a install wad and it should be pretty quick and just like that that's done click a to continue go to the next one and as you can see if you go on left or right on the d-pad you can uninstall it so that's how you uninstall these wads if you ever want to take them off but we're going to install all three of these games almost done here press a again once those are done just click the home button and it'll say restarting Wii but it'll just take you back to the homebrew channel and once you're here just uh, click the home button and exit to the system menu and we'll see if they're there we'll see if they they're there they're there <laughs> and BAM look at that so we got I installed that one earlier we already had it but Wii Party Mario Party 8 and Donkey Kong so uh, let's start it up just to just to prove that this works so this is going straight from the Wii menu from a Wii channel to the game so essentially it skipped that part and just went straight to USB loader GX from the Wii channel we created so it just skips a step saves a little bit of time makes the Wii channel or Wii menu look nice And let's see here, it should start. Bam, bam, bam. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, it's very appreciated. And if you wanna learn more about Wii modding, I have a whole playlist on my channel with different videos on how to customize your Wii to your liking. So if you wanna do that, go check it out. But anyways, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.